Hi there, this is Brenda again with another video and I was asked to do um, another bunny video so I'm going to do a mini bunny and uh, this is yarn I got at Michael's, it's their cozy chenille and I have ribbon, scissors and polyfill. So let's go ahead and start our cast on chain. Leave about 10 to 12 inches and then start your first stitch. Um, you cross it over, then you pull the working yarn through. And for this type, I use about a two finger cast on um, so the polyfill does not show through. So one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm doing a cast on of eight. And um, for this one, I stick the end through and cinch it tight. So we're gonna go through these top um, pieces to pull our stitches through. So one, two, three, four, the tail out of the way and one more eight so now we're gonna continue going around knitting in the circle and it's going to be about six or seven rows after you go one more time around, we are going to fold it in half so we don't have as much space in between um, the stitches. Okay, so here we go. Fold this in half. And continue knitting that tail out of the way with these little guys you can do you know little pom-pom eyes and nose or uh, no face it's really up to you I love this color okay flip it over Keep knitting. Let's see where we're at here. After I knit this row. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. So we're gonna continue to knit until you reach your cast on there. So now we are gonna decrease um, a couple of stitches for the head. So right here, I'm going to Take two of the stitches together and knit them both. Pull your working yarn through both 
and that is a decrease stitch. Now I'm gonna knit three regular stitches and then I'm going to decrease again on the other side. Two stitches together and then knit the last one. So now you should have six stitches and I'm going to continue knitting these for a few rows. And this will be the head of the mini bunny. Okay, we're going to do a few more rows. And then we'll be going on to our ears. I'm going to stop there since we're at the same one that we stopped at and we're going to go ahead and close off the bottom and then put some polyfill in this little bunny. So you're going to go from the inside out through every stitch. Pinch it a bit. You don't want to pull too tight and break your yarn. Go through a couple more. One more stitch. because there's still a little hole there. Okay, now we're gonna push this tail through. And then, then we pull it through and you'll see that's how it looks on the bottom. Um, okay, and now we're gonna put some polyfill in here. Because this is a little guy, I'm not gonna use much polyfill. Um, let's get for the body. And then a little bit for the head. A little bit more. Okay, now for the ears, we're going to keep three and three. So um, we're going to leave these three and come back to them later. So what you're gonna do is 
bring your working yarn keep these these three are the ones we're knitting go across to this one bring your yarn and knit this one next to it and then just keep going around in a circle for a, a couple rows You just keep going around. I'm going to do one more around. I don't want my ears to be too long for this mini one. Okay. Now, there's your little ear, and we are going to trim this off about 12 inches out and I'm going to pull take this working yarn I mean the tail and go through each stitch and then I'm going to go through the last stitch and cinch it tight. Now we're going to tie a knot. I'm going to actually double knot it. Trim it off. And what I'm going to do is push it through to the inside of the ear and tuck it in there good. And there's your little ear. Um, now we're going to, I'm gonna trim this off. We're gonna take this, some more yarn, and I'm actually gonna do uh, a couple of feet and cut it off. So you're going to go through this side of the base of the ear we just finished and the other side of the base. And we're going to pull the yarn through. This is just how I do it. Um, and then we'll leave a tail to knot. But for now, just gonna leave that. Now we're gonna go through two more sides because we're sewing up the middle of the ears. Um, so there's that. And then now we're gonna go ahead and start the other ear. So knit one, two, and three. And just keep going around in a circle. Make sure you keep the stitches close together again. And you want to go to about um, to match up where the other, how tall the other ear is. So I'm just going to do a couple more stitches. And now I'm going to close it off. So I will put it through this stitch. Put it through 
the stitch and then the last stitch and cinch it tight now I'm gonna do a knot like I did the other double knot trim that end off and I'm going to let's see I'm gonna tuck this in the back so you just find a stitch inside and you stick your knot inside there. Now we have the, t the end here that we didn't close off. So um, kind of shape the ears a little. I'm going to tie, make sure that there's no holes around. Let's see. I'm going to close this one off. Put this through. Maybe that stitch was a little loose. And just like the ear, I'm going to knot it and stick it inside of a stitch. there is your mini bunny. Um, I wanted to show you that um, you can, like I said, use the mini pom-poms. Anyways, they sell them at the craft stores and you can just do uh, a couple eyes and then I'm going to put some ribbon on her. I like to trim mine so it's even put this around you don't have to put ribbon on it again um i think it's cute without it too but straighten the bow out and even this ribbon, actually do it this way. And there's your cute mini bunny. Hope you enjoyed.